Hi, this is Dr. David Brady, uh, Chief Medical Officer of Diagnostic Solutions Lab. I wanted to talk a little bit about the challenges of stool as a biological sample medium. Um, stool is not like blood or urine, which are inherently aqueous sort of liquid mediums that are very homogenous. Things sort of equally disperse in them. So they are very amenable to things like split sampling uh, and the like and seeing very, very, very similar results. That's not the case with stool going through a complex environment like the GI tract. Um, there will be different levels of organisms in different sections of the stool, in the inner core, the outer core, and so forth. And that is compensated for um, by how we prep samples when we get them back. There are series of dilutions and different types of uh, sample prep that's done before analysis. But this is an inherent challenge with all stool testing, and laboratory scientists understand this, and this is normalized for in, in research using stool as well. But this is why it's very important, and we put in our instructions, that the subject or the patient collects samples from at least three and preferably five different sections of their stool before they send it back. We do validity testing on an ongoing basis, and we are required to for our CLIA certification, for our CMS certification, for our different state laboratory certifications. We are using the proper technologies and proper sample preparation, but there is inherent challenges with stool. But we look at these validation studies and you can't look at one microbe and it and an exact quantitation on a split sample from different areas of a stool. You have to look at the overall pattern of the microbial composition within the test result. And when you do that on that basis, you see strong consistency. The biggest variances are on very, very low level organism catches, which we report. And I have other videos suggesting our rationale on why we report those things versus suppressing low level hits and just calling them negative. We want you to be able to decide. But on very low level threshold um, hits, they can vary from sample to sample, even from the same biological uh, uh, stool, if you will, if they're taken from different areas and sent to the lab. But the overall compositional signature remains very consistent, and we have that validation data that's done on an ongoing basis. Thank you very much.